Hello friends. This is going to be a kind of slow and boring video, I'm afraid. Uh, what we're looking at here is a spider, a baby spider, that was laid last week. And all I'm going to do is sit here and look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? So yeah, you're going to get three minutes of a baby spider twitching. Okay, why? Why should I do this? Well, this is what I like to do every day. This is why I became a developmental biologist. Because this is simply awesome. Last week, this was a single cell. And it divided and divided and it self-organized. And today, it's the beginnings of a spider. Okay, what you're looking at there, you can see there's its its face more or less with its pedipalps hanging down and there's a chain of eyes that are brown pigmented there and it's moving its limbs just slowly twitching they're kind of stretching out ten tentacle like they're a bit bendy yet i started my career working with fruit flies and this is the kind of thing I would do all day with Drosophila as we were interested in how they formed wings and legs and I would just pull the pupae out of their little uh, chrysalis put them on the scope do things like label nerves this is the kind of thing that's going on right here all that movement is the spider making some kind of integrated connections between its sensory and motor system. It sends out a motor signal, its limbs move, the limbs are covered with sensory hairs, they get input from their environment, it feeds that back to the nervous system, and it refines the connections. Right now it's slow and clumsy and not very efficient at doing much of anything, but after a day or two of this, it's going to master the connections and it's going to be nimble and quick. So like I said, I started with fruit flies, then I went to zebrafish. It was a real eye opener the first day with a zebrafish embryo, seeing it quickly turn into a fish. And then I worked for a while on grasshopper embryos, which are kind of like this, only bigger. And there we were spending a lot of time poking at nerves, trying to figure out how they made connections. Then I went back to zebrafish for a long time. And now I'm looking at spiders. And they're charming. Isn't it adorable? Yeah, we've just wasted about three minutes looking at this beautiful little animal assembling itself. And I'll probably go in tomorrow and do the same thing.